An exclusive on your side investigation that will have you checking your medicine cabinet. Alarming side effects associated with one of the most widely used antibiotics. Chief Investigator Ron Regan joins us now, and you first broke this story, and it got the attention of the feds. Well, that's right. The FDA issued new warnings about antibiotics like Cipro and Leviquin. They can cause ruptured tendons plus joint and nerve damage. But now a local family is coming forward with warnings about even more potentially tragic side effects. She was just beautiful. She was intelligent, vibrant, and happy. Dina Pogan was happily married, two loving children. Last Christmas Eve, she began a short 15-minute drive along I-90 near Mentor to visit her mom. She loved life. She loved life. And she lit up a room. Yes, she did. She lit up a room when she came in. But just months earlier, it all began to unravel. If she would take a shower, her skin would hurt. Um, like She lost the sensation of warmth and cold. And tragically, Dina would lose much more. In the meantime, my youngest daughter called and said, Mom, I'll be a few minutes late because there's an accident up ahead. Up ahead. 911, what's your emergency? Another driver called 911. It appears to be that the person is was struck by a car. Meanwhile, Dina's younger sister had no idea what had just unfolded. We just knew she would never have been late. She parked her car on the side of the interstate and walked in front of a semi. But how could that happen? It was not her. She would have never, ever, ever done something like that. And could something four months earlier have triggered it? Was prescribed Cipro? Cipro. Cipro. It was, it's an antibiotic, a fluoroquinolone. They're among the most powerful antibiotics on the market. Our original investigation, more than a year ago, found they've been associated with more than 200,000 complaints, 3,000 deaths. As a result, four months ago, the FDA issued this warning. Serious side effects outweigh the benefits for many patients. Treatment should be stopped immediately if side effects are reported. A warning that came too late for Dina. Did anyone tell her about any possible side effects? No, she specifically said that to us. She said she asked the doctor if there would be any side effects, and she said absolutely not. It's a common antibiotic. So common, 33 million prescriptions were issued just last year, according to the FDA. Even as many as just as few as one or two doses, they can get, develop serious, permanent, and disab disabling psychiatric toxicities. Dr. Charles Bennett is a nationally recognized expert on medication safety. And these are things like unable to work, unable to concentrate, body pain, severe pain, and very, very disabling. That's exactly what happened to Dina Pogan. And after the very first dose, she had a severe reaction. After the first dose? The very first dose. What happened? She developed a, a skin crawling, excessive skin crawling. Symptoms that grew even more severe leading up to Christmas Eve. She would beg me, Mom, please keep me safe. Please keep me safe. Her husband and I would take turns keeping 24-7 watch on her, and the bad thoughts would keep coming. And Dina is not an isolated case. We found 600 suicide-related cases reported to the FDA in the last 18 years. 133 died, but it could be much higher. FDA assumes only 10% of cases are reported. Do you believe that the medication played a role? Absolutely. There is no doubt that the medication did this to my daughter. My daughter's death cannot be in vain, and nobody else can suffer something like this. It's just unconscionable for this to be happening when it's, the information is out there. Patient safety advocates are urging patients to ask their doctors about antibiotics they're given, determine if there are alternatives, and be aware of serious potential side effects.
I'm Chief Investigator Ron Regan.